Good evening. Welcome to the Clinton Public Safety Building Committee meeting. This meeting is being recorded for cablecast and YouTube presentation by Area 58 Community Access Media. The video of this meeting is not to be considered an official public record. All right. Why? I don't know. I didn't write that. Yipping and yapping. I know you all want to see it. Okay. So um, first on the agenda is an overview of the project today. Well, do you want to give the overview? You gonna let me do it? Um, we had a construction meeting today. Um, structural, en structural engineer went through last week. A um, couple of couple of deficiencies in in regards to hold downs and uh, some bolt some bolt bolt connections from the foundation through to the sill plate. He's come up with a. Uh, corrective action scenario which will be uh, implemented by the contractor. Uh, the um, framing of the building should be 100% completed by the end of the week and they should be starting to do rough. Did they pull an electric permit? Not yet. No. You know they started running the raceway, right? Yeah, that's just, you know, the and stuff. So, no, they started mountain boxes today. Yeah. Throwing pipe up, so. Yeah, we wrote that last Tuesday, Thursday, Monday night we wrote that. Monday night? Yeah. Oh. Is it Monday night football? Was it pre-game pre for Monday night football? No. Okay. So, um, like I said, as we were walking on the site walk, his schedule has him starting rough. His schedule has him starting rough in, uh, on, October 22nd, he's starting rough on Monday for HVAC, electric, and plumbing. He, he should have all the windows in tomorrow, uh, if not tomorrow, Friday. Um, and he should be off to the races with regard to getting the roughs done. Uh, the structural engineer has to do another inspection on the framing and sign off on the framing before we can close up any walls and we got to do insulation inspections and all sorts of other things. Rough, and rough electric, rough plumbing, and uh, HVAC inspections. Um, he's requesting that you approve tonight uh, 195456 We're okay with it, uh, which brings him to 675000 total completed to and stored uh, this <coughs> for this project, and he's at 30% uh, complete, which is about where he is. Any questions? Any complaints? <laughs> <laughs> no. You're on TV. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, we have. Uh, we actually got a. Uh, we got a correspondence from the town administrator that the uh, building inspector oh. had some issues. I think it was related to the pl cell plate. But I. Cell so plate's nailing. Yeah, I sent. I sent a. An email back to her, and I didn't. I didn't receive a response. Just want to make sure that what what they're seeing, we can make sure it gets corrected, which we will. I mean, e e e anything that they don't like will be corrected, as long as it's not in violation with, uh, you know, the contract documents. And if it's a code issue, they have to do it. If it's a wish l l issue and it's not on the on the contract documents, they get paid for it. So. Uh, it sounds like talking to Bob while well, you guys were all filing in that, that these are uh, these are issues that they have to correct. All right. Anything else? The roof looks good. Yeah, the roof looks good. Do we know if we're going to take the police sign off the town hall and put it over there? Did anybody bring that up? I think we're putting power down for a new sign. Down by the street. I down by the yeah. street, but yeah. I don't think we own a sign. No, we sort of talked about creating something that balanced the library sign or something a little more permanent and yeah. nice and looking. The, I mean, the, the cops are kind of fond of that one up on the, the side <coughs> of the building. Mm -hmm. For some reason, they always want to see <coughs> people like to see it lit. I didn't know if we had, if we had a spot for it or if we a spot. even discussed it. There's a spot. Uh, we talked about running power down for a sign. Well, not so much down by the street. That's I mean, it's a uh, it's wall mounted on the side. Oh, this of the is a building. wall mount on the side of the building. Yeah, and 
So you want to put a crappy old sign on the brand new building? Just, I'm just asking. I think we should put it inside in like the sergeant's office. Yeah. That they like to look at. Yeah. <laughs> put it in the uh, Sally Port or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Booking. Yeah. I don't know if I want to put it on the block. That's only if they want to keep it. Or we don't want to keep it. Well, that can be discussed later. Yeah. Well, before they do the signing, it's easier to put a mounting block up now and bring power into where it's going to go if we're going to keep it. Well, someone's got to tell us to do it. I know. So if you guys want to do it, you know, I'll, I'll we can tomorrow. we can you know, go take a look at this sign and make a decision on it. And that, that will be siding is going to be starting very soon. I know. We will have to pay something additional for that, correct? That that will be a change order. Not for the blocking. He'll, okay. He'll fill that in. Okay. Not a big issue. It shouldn't be. I, it depends on. To be honest with you, it, I don't know how much work it is to cut the blocking end around the siding. Yeah. I, I don't know what. I, I don't even know what blocking we need, or whether we even need blocking, yeah, or whether it, can it's out on the side. Just take a quick peek. There's only. How big is it? Oh, six feet tall. Is it something that maybe you want to get mm -hmm. taken down and have CPA money refurbish it if it's historical? It's probably going to need CPR before you put it back on. <laughs> 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 I mean, I've fixed it I don't know how many times. But so this is a, a nostalgic thing for the place. It's not yeah. functional. Oh, We're going to gosh. create a different sign. Well, I'm sorry. Yes, it is. It is functioning. I mean, um, it just says police on it, but everybody notices when it's not lit for some reason. Hmm. Where is it? Out here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know which one you mean. The long white one that yeah. says police vertically. I don't know. Anybody have any thoughts on this? I, I'm pretty sure that John would have some thoughts on it. I have to look at it. I don't even Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know what we're talking about, about, so I'm, I'm naked here. Yeah, take a peek at it on the way out. I mean, we can, we can, why don't we take a peek at it on the way out and maybe, um, why don't you take a vote to defer it to the police chief if he wants it and we'll, we'll put it in. If not, you don't want to do that? That was a groan. Is this, is this <laughs> a I hear a groan. <laughs> I heard a groan. <laughs> is this a request from the police? Well, I know it's going to be. He didn't mention it today. And by the way, he loved the police station. Who? The chief. He's not all over drugs. <laughs> wow, this is a tough crowd. I, I'd be a little worried about changing the aesthetic of the building with with the old sign. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's not a beautiful sign yeah. by any means, but it's... Do we have a sign that we're going to put up there? We yeah, haven't we, chosen one yet. No, but we're as I said. I don't think it's really been discussed. When we well, we did talk about it a little bit, and we talked about matching the library sign. Yeah, I think we're still a little early on signage. Yeah, I just want to make sure I put a conduit from the light pole we're putting in down there for a sign at the street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big big picture, we we are starting the master planning process for the whole campus and center city, and I I think I don't know if it matters in the particular, but in the bigger sense, matching signs to the degree well, that it matches. If you're going to do that, it would probably be a good idea for us to run power down there and not put the sign up until you decide what you're doing with all the signs. Because mm -hmm. if we go spend ten grand on a sign, and you turn around and change the sign. Yeah, we're all going to get our heads chopped off. Yeah, I'm fairly but sure we can talk about look at power down. You there. should look at the sign at the Hanover Police Station. It's really well done. Mm -hmm. It's two, mm -hmm. two, two granite mm -hmm. posts that aren't expensive, and you know, a nice little sign in between the two granite posts. It looks really good. The town seal kind of goes like this with the town seal on the top, and then it's the Hanover Police below. Some cars on the last night. I don't know if anybody's driven through there at night lately, but it's hideous. Hmm. The lights, the mm -hmm. street lights, all the way through the center of town. It's so bright, bright white bulbs everywhere. Well, what they do? Put in all the, the, the took federal money for street lamps? I don't know what they did. I was born when I was going through it. It was bad. Well, I, I think that I think their fire station. Everyone loves their fire station. I think it's overkill times twenty. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. way too big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't fit in with the town. Back to the sign. You need an answer within 
Days or do we need it for days, the next meeting? Days. We don't have a month. I'd say I'd say I need. Uh, I can probably stretch it to two weeks. I mean, if it were to go anywhere, it'd be out there on the end of the building more than likely. Facing the street. Yeah. So I can have them start siding the back and yeah. work their way around and do that last. But they're going to side that building in probably 10, 10 or twelve days. And we won't be meeting again until November. No. Um, anybody have any thoughts on this? Do you want to step out and look at it so you, we know what we're talking about? It, yeah, uh, but as far as the design of the uh, the entrance, um, there's no retaining wall, so they've they've um, pitched that. It's a pretty good pitch coming up. Oh the, yeah, it's a good pitch. So if, as far as the sign is concerned, the sign's going to be a hell of a lot higher than the road if you put it down. Well, I, I'm thinking the sign's over here. On the town hall side. Oh, okay. I'm oh, not okay. thinking it's over here. If we put it here, yeah. it'd be way too high because yeah. that's a big jump from here to here. You're absolutely correct. I mean, and that, that's another thing too. You're not going to you're not going to get the visibility until you're down to the sidewalk. That's as correct. As far as the vehicles coming and going. So even if they put this on the sign on the side of the building, it's you're not, not going to be seen from down below. It's just you're not going to you're not you're certainly you're not going to see it coming from Halifax. Right. Yeah. You're only going to see it coming from from, town. from the center of town and only when you get right in front of town hall. Right. Well, I think if we put a sign down towards the road uh, on columns or whatever we do, if you mounted that, that old police sign on the building, at least when you'd see Plumpton Police, you turn in the driveway and then you're going to see the blue sign on the building. And I think that, in my mind, that's kind of traditional with a with a police station to see the blue police. Mm -hmm. uh, but then again, for you younger folks, <laughs> I, mean, we, I, I remember the I remember the blue wall. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Could we get a barber pole? <laughs> we can get a barber pole as long as he doesn't reject it. We'll put it in the basement. Huh? I don't reject. <laughs> so if this is you've been grumpy since you haven't got the the basement. Is anyone else noticing this? <laughs> it started with He's pizza. Just always it started with pizza. Yeah. <laughs> if if this is not a big expense to add, can we just add it and make the decision about whether or not we want to use that or some other sign? No, like because the if they put mounting for block for it, they're going to put a block on it and they're going to side around it and then it's going to cover it. And they're going to flash the top of each piece of block. Go take a quick look at the signs. Let's take so. a look at yeah. the sign. Yeah. Remember, this is a this is a, a, a resin-based siding. Plastic? No, it's not plastic. It's resin. So are they going to use Azac block on the yeah, solid that's Azac that's block right. behind yeah. it? Yeah. 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 But I got to flash it and do it right. Otherwise, you know what I'm saying? Did you pause this? Yeah. Oh, thank you. <coughs> okay. We're back. We're back. Okay, so we have looked at the sign and basically determined that it would be too long for the new building and but be hanging down within reach. We can we can certainly look at replicating something says the proper scale to the building as part of signage and again in, in cooperation with what we're doing down at the front of the building. So then they will um, include electricity for a lit sign at that. They will not put electricity now, but it's easy to pop through because you have drop ceilings there and just you can just drill it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, on the building? We did no. not. Mm -hmm. yeah. no. And where it's at the time where they're going to put the siding on, if we need blocks, now's the time to do it. It's just so much easier. What signing are you referring to? It's something similar to that, only yeah. I, more I, in scale I, with the I have to be mm -hmm. honest with you, I think you ought to. I, I think you ought to put two blue lights at the front of the entrance. And that's where I am. And I think you ought to put a nice sign at the bottom so they know to come in. And when you, it, it, 
you have to be not from this planet to not know a police station has blue lights. Well, I mean, the, the front engines or those side Well, you can do the white ones that say police on them and they're lit. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not expensive, the, the plastic bulbs. And you're going to want plastic, not glass, because the kids will break them. Not in Plimpton. <laughs> okay, so the bottom line is we don't have to make a decision on this tonight after all. And we'll add it to the November agenda just to do some more um, okay. discussion. Hmm? We've been <laughs> we've been basically meeting once a month. Why? What do you want? To, what, what's bugging you? We're out October already. <laughs> <laughs> it is October. Okay, good. All right, so we have um, the invoice from. This is an invoice from APC. APC. And it's for one hundred and ninety-five thousand four hundred and fifty-six dollars and eighty-nine cents. A motion to approve this invoice. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Good. Thank you. I'll sign off on that. Is the um, the li is there a line item in there now for the driveway? No, we haven't got that change order formalized okay. yet with the selectman. Um, has he broken that out a little bit better? I had asked no. the last time. That we, we've uh, asked for a break. Okay. We've, we have to. Okay. Uh, we also asked for a reduction in certain things and in addition of certain things that he needs to add a light bulb uh, on the driveway. Yeah. And he's working on that. Right? Okay. So are you um, feeling that your progress report is complete? I would say that you can go to the next agenda item. Okay. We have a context invoice for $9,375. We have a note on here that um, this is from, from July 2018 to February 2019. We're going to be billed in equal installments of $9,375. It had previously been equal installments of $15,000. And we, we cut it back. Um, we had some concerns about that, and Dan approached them, and they wanted to be like it. fully built out in <coughs> December, and they've got to be here till this thing's done. And everyone knows the length of the contract. I think it was just an oversight. What number is that in the context? This is number nineteen. Okay, so motion to approve this so invoice. Moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. And then we have an invoice from P3 for five thousand okay. dollars. What number on the P3? We don't have full time uh, people. Sixteen. Number sixteen. Oh, yes, sixteen. Motion to approve this. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? You do know that your vote does not count. Uh, I, I know, <laughs> but I, it's just like when I voted at your town meeting. Nobody knew but me. <laughs> <laughs> I bet the clerk did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> the lawsuit. <laughs> we have minutes from September 5th. Correct. <laughs> uh, do we have any issues with them? I didn't see them. I didn't. Uh, yeah, these are John's minutes. These were minutes. sent from John Williamson. I you didn't I see them either? No. I don't think so. No. All right. Then we will put them on hold and I'll add them. I don't think with the world the will come to an end if you miss meeting minutes once. Nope. So mm -hmm. ne next meeting we will actually have three minutes to do. Um, <laughs> next meeting is tentatively <laughs> scheduled for November 7th. Does that sound good for everybody? Mm -hmm. That will be the day after election day. And of course everyone will be home. Yeah. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. yeah. Huh? Ah, oh, are you kidding me? I, I've got all sorts of people I want to toss out. Okay. Um, anything else? Any other discussion? Yes. I, I, oh, please, you first. I have uh, one question. Do you think by next meeting we will have uh, a figure for the reduction in cost for not doing the back driveway? Well, I have a reduction in cost for not doing the back driveway. In other words, doubling it, eating it, you know, excavating the the uh, the hill that was all part of the initial thing I, now if, I, we, if we do this driveway i i'll have to I, i'm waiting for the breakdown on this driveway and in this driveway we were resurfacing the whole area too so we didn't have any patches so it was a combination of a whole bunch of things and i haven't gotten the breakdown from them okay. so i can't answer your question but i would think if we don't have it by next meeting 
Uh, we're not putting in the driveway till springtime because he's going to need to pave by December 10th or so. Or we're not going to make the paving and we're not going to leave that exposed all, all winter long. It'll just run into the street all winter. Right? So, so that's, that's, just, that's just the first coat. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. Just, just the first coat is all I care about. I want it to go through the winter with just the first yeah. coat. That way, anything that settles, we can catch it with the uh, with the uh, top coat, with the wear course. So where do we stand on the driveway now? What's, what's well, you guys said go. Mm -hmm. uh, at the figure he said, we went back and asked him to revise it because mm -hmm. we thought it was a little bit too high, mm -hmm. and we wanted a breakdown. And we haven't received uh, that information. Okay. He does indicate he's working on it. Okay. All right. Do you have an actual set of plans rather than the just have these sketches. They're upgraded. At least we have L at least we have grades on them now. No, that's what I got. Thought there might be something a little bit more. Okay. No, we have details. Did you look in the back? Yeah, we did not have that out before. Huh? Yeah, I mean I got the details on the curbing. Um few more notes, details on the sidewalk. You want to send those along electronically? I will. Okay. I haven't gotten them electronically. We got them today in the meeting. Okay. And I asked to take it so that you guys could see it, just to let you know we're not ignoring you. All right. Are we good? One, one, one quick item on dates to remember and back what I was talking about a moment ago. Um, Master Planning, um, Oak Colony Planning Council will be here for an open house October 15th, 4.30 to 6.30, especially people on this committee who suffered through years of working this through and we want to come up with a grand plan for the whole campus. And um, so I'm, I'm sure we'd love your input along the way. It's sort of drop in anywhere along the way you want. There also is a survey. I think it's on the town website. Or everyone should have gotten we an email got an on email. that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that'd be good fun. That's the fun part. Ask the, uh, you can ask the uh, planner to call me so I can get them the electronic files we have. Okay. It'll make, it'll make their job a lot easier. Okay, great. Right. Thank you very much. Okay, then. Uh, motion to adjourn. So moved. In a second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Opposed. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Good night. Aye.